The truth is, for most of us, the difference between screen printing and digital printing is usually just about which one is more cost effective. Digital printing is there so that you can get really small custom printed orders, and screen printing is there so that you can save money on larger ones. So what is the difference between screen printing and digital printing? And how do you pick which print method is gonna be best for your order? This is by far the most asked question we get from our customers. And there's a lot of confusion out there about the differences between screen printing and digital printing. So in this video, our goal is to clear up the confusion for you so that you can be confident you're picking the right print method for your order. For some background, these are the two most common forms of t-shirt and apparel printing. And if you're making a design and ordering it on the Uberprints website, these are the two print methods that you're gonna have to choose from. So what are these two processes? Well, digital printing, also called direct-to-garment printing, essentially works just like your at-home desktop printer. You have a file on your computer, you hit print, it gets sent over to the printer, and there it prints off in small incremental passes as the piece of paper, or in our case, the t-shirt, slowly exits the printer. But what these two things also have in common is that they both use CMYK ink to print your image. You know those small cartridges that when they run out of ink, you've gotta go buy more that somehow cost more than the printer itself? Well, digital printing uses cartridges just like those, except a lot bigger, to print your whole design. The other print method, screen printing, is the more traditional form of t-shirt printing. With screen printing, we separate the colors in your image and make individual stencils for each one of those colors. We then mix separate inks for each one and then push those inks through those stencils one after another to print the whole design down onto your t-shirt. So what you wanna know now is which one of these print methods is better? The thing is, there's no direct answer to this question because both print methods have important strengths and which one you choose should really depend on some details about your order and what's important to you. So what you really need to know is what are the key considerations when you're picking between screen printing and digital printing? And based on those, then we can tell you which one is gonna be best for your order. So we're gonna start by talking about the top three considerations when you're picking a print method. And then at the end, we're gonna have some possible scenarios so that you can better understand when digital printing is best and when screen printing is best. So number one is quantity. And quantity just means the number of pieces of apparel that are printed with the same design. This could be different types of apparel as long as nothing about the design changes. Well, screen printing has a minimum quantity of 12. And that's because it has an extensive preparation and setup time. So if you're looking for fewer than 12 pieces, digital printing is your solution. That's really the strength of digital printing is that setup is so quick that you can order even just one t-shirt if you want to. If you're ordering 12 or more, you can actually go with either of the print methods, but if it's anything above about 25 or 30 pieces, you'll almost surely wanna go with screen printing. And that's because screen printing has much bigger bulk discounts for higher quantity orders. Because even though it has more extensive prep and setup, the printing part is just so much more efficient. If you're in that 12 to 24 range, you'll definitely wanna pay attention to the other two considerations, but you can always compare price with a quick quote on the website. And at the end, we'll go over how price is calculated for the two print methods. The second consideration is apparel. Screen printing is gonna have a much wider variety of options when it comes to the type of apparel and the different apparel colors that you can print on. That's because screen printing works on any fabric type, including 100% polyester, performance fabrics, and a lot of other synthetic blends. Digital printing, on the other hand, is best for 100% cotton and other cotton blends. So we only offer it on products and colors that we've tested and we can guarantee print quality. You can always sort our catalog by products with no minimum and still see tons of styles and colors that are available for digital printing. We've made sure that we offer plenty of comparable styles for both print methods and available colors are always separated between the two print methods so it's clear which ones have a 12 piece minimum and which don't. Consideration number three is your design. 
Photographs and designs with lots of colors are generally better candidates for digital printing, especially if it's fewer than about 24 pieces. That's because digital printing is much better at easily reproducing photographic images, but also because it uses those CMYK inks to make all the colors, it doesn't matter how many colors are in your design. However, screen printing can be a better option and a much more cost-effective option if you have fewer colors or if you're ordering larger quantities. Because screen printing requires that we separate the colors in your design and print them individually, the cost of screen printed orders depends on the number of colors in your design. Six or seven colors may not be a big deal for 50 or more shirts, but if you're only ordering 12, you'll wanna make sure to keep your color count low so that it can stay a cost-effective option. And even though screen printing is generally associated with those solid, bold graphics, it's still possible to print elaborate and realistic designs with screen printing. It just may require some adapting to make the design work best. One final thing to consider is how important color matching is to your print. Because with screen printing, we mix and print each color individually, we can match the color to a specific brand or a logo or any time a specific color may be important. So if you need your print to match a Pantone color, for instance, screen printing is the best option. So for a quick recap, your three considerations are number one, quantity. Fewer than 12 and you'll definitely wanna go with digital printing. Anything higher than about 30 and you'll definitely go with screen printing. Anything in between and you probably just wanna compare price when you get your quote. Number two is the apparel. Not all products and colors are gonna be compatible with digital printing, but everything is for screen printing. Just take note of what products and colors are available for the two print methods when you're looking through the catalog. Number three is your design. If you wanna print lots of colors or even a photograph on just a few shirts, you'll probably go with digital printing. If it's just a couple colors or if you're ordering a much higher quantity like we said before, then screen printing is probably the better option. So how is the price for digitally printed and screen printed orders calculated? So screen printing has a couple extra cost factors, but we'll go ahead and talk about the things that both print methods have in common. Cost factors for both print methods are first, the apparel. These can range from value to premium options and depend on the style and brand. Second is the number of print locations. One location would just be a print on the front and two locations would be a print on the front and back. And third, whether you're printing on a white shirt or a darker colored shirt affects cost because an extra layer of white ink is necessary to print the design on darker colored fabric. The two additional cost factors for screen printing are first the number of colors in your design. Because we have to prepare and print each color individually, fewer colors means lower cost and more colors means higher cost. The second cost factor, and this is the really big one, is quantity. How many pieces of apparel do you want printed with the same design? As you increase your order quantity, we automatically apply bigger and bigger bulk discounts, and that can dramatically reduce your cost per piece. You can check out our quote calculator to get an idea of how these different cost factors and two different print methods will affect your order, but you can also try different options on a design you've already created when you go to get your final quote. The truth is, for most of us, the difference between screen printing and digital printing is usually just about which one is more cost effective. Digital printing is there so that you can get really small custom printed orders, and screen printing is there so that you can save money on larger ones. And at what quantity one becomes more cost effective than the other is just gonna depend on how many colors are in your design. And it can be really helpful to know if you're gonna order fewer than 12, just so that you can focus on apparel with no minimum order requirement, if that's what you need. To help you better understand the key differences between screen printing and digital printing, I've put together some examples for us to take a look at. We'll talk about which print method would be best and why using some real world scenarios so that you can apply it to your own order. So let's take a look at a couple designs and I'll walk you through the details. The first example is this stay creative design you've probably seen featured a few times. It's actually an image that I've uploaded into the design studio and I selected two colors from the dropdown once it uploaded and decided to pick matching colors from our palette. Now that I've arranged it on the shirt here, I'm ready to order so I'll head up to quote and buy. So let's say that I only wanted to order three of these for a couple people on our team. In that case, I'd wanna select digital printing just because that will allow me to print fewer than 12 pieces and the processing time is only one to two days. 
If you don't see digital printing as an option available, it's because it's not compatible with the product or color you have selected, so just head back and swap it out for an option labeled with no minimum. But let's say that I wanted to order this design for more people, and I did need 12 of them printed. It's cheaper to order 12 of them with screen printing because there's only two colors in this design, and you can see how big the bulk discounts are if I wanted to order even more with screen printing. The processing time for standard screen printed orders is about five business days. You get free shipping and you can pick from any of the styles and colors that are in the apparel catalog. Now for a pro tip. If you wanna save even more money, you can change the apparel color to white and get a little bit of a price break. And this is true for digital printing and screen printing. But you can also check out some value priced apparel options. The Ultra Cotton Tee is the default t-shirt in the design studio and is just about the cheapest option out there. But I really like to recommend the soft style t-shirt. It's noticeably softer and more fitted than the Ultra Cotton Tee and it's still a very cost effective option. The second example we'll take a look at is this t-shirt design that I made for my fictional landscaping business. I actually made this design using one of our design templates, and that means that every bit of it was made right here in the design studio, and it's fully customizable. If you're interested in getting started with a template, just check out all the categories in our design template section. So let's say that I wanted to order 12 of these for all of my employees. If I select screen printing and get my quote, you'll see that it's actually a bit cheaper to digitally print this design. That's just because this design I've made has five colors. The last one we looked at is only two, and the cost for screen printed orders is based on the number of colors in your design. If I didn't want to order any more, I could get it a bit cheaper with digital printing, but let's say that I wanted to order 24 of them just so that everyone can have two. Now you can see that screen printing is cheaper just because those bulk discounts were applied and it gets even cheaper per t-shirt if I order more. For either 12 or 24 pieces, if I had a specific Pantone color for my brand and wanted the ink colors matched to it, I would need to select screen printing and I can leave that as a note here. Or if I just really want a style or fabric color that's only available for screen printing, I can still do that. Now for another pro tip. With a design like this one, you can usually reduce your color count by at least one just by using some smart designing, and that can save you some money. It's an easy trick to use the color of the apparel in the design itself. For example, let's get rid of this blue sky in the middle of the design and just select a shirt color that can replace it. First, I'll switch to an apparel color that's closer to that sky blue. Then select this piece of the design and change the blue color to this shirt color swatch. Now my design is only four colors, which will save me some money, but using this tactic can also make your design look even better with the t-shirt it's on. The last example I have is this event t-shirt design that I made by uploading a photograph and pairing it with some text from the design studio. It's pretty common for customers to put together photographic designs like this one. And with digital printing, we can absolutely print full color photographs. But I think we can really improve on this design and at the same time make it better suited for screen printing so that if you're ordering for a whole event, you can get the best price possible. The first thing we can do to make this design look better is to feather the edges so that the photograph blends into the shirt and gets rid of this stark rectangle. The next thing is to simplify the photograph to a monochromatic color scheme that matches the shirt color and it's just a few colors. To do this, just label your photograph with three colors when you upload it and include these notes when you save your design and ask for a proof of the changes. Go ahead and place your order and during our review and design preparation process, our art department will make the changes noted in your design and you'll receive an email with an image for you to look over. And this is what those changes would look like. The design is now only a three color print that better matches the text, fits better on the t-shirt, and all around is much better designed. Now for a final pro tip. If you ever want any kind of design simplified to fewer colors, just leave a note with your design when you order, letting us know how many colors you'd like it simplified to. Once your design changes are made, our customer service department will make sure to update any order costs to make sure you're getting the best price possible. 
I really hope this has made understanding the differences between screen printing and digital printing a lot easier and you feel more confident making a decision. But as always, contact us if you have any questions and we'll make sure that you're putting together the best order possible. And be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and everything else so that you can learn more about how to design and order your own awesome looking custom t-shirts. Thank you.